Apply pressure, TYN. Chickity, check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, man, before we get to the video, make sure y'all thumb that join up, subscribe to the channel for more content. All right, so we all know how rappers get on Vlad TV and basically they tell on themselves. Well, rapper Pee Wee Longway out of ATL, he shows all new and old rappers how to conduct themselves in an interview where the interviewer, Vlad TV, asks questions that could possibly get you indicted and locked up in prison. And he shows the interviewee, any rapper USA, how to shut your damn mouth, man. And if AR Rap would have taken a page out of rapper Pee Wee Longway's book, he would have probably been free right now. So if you want to give me your thoughts, leave a comment down below. Smash the notification bell if you rock with your boy. And without any further ado, check out the video. When I, when I look at your music, when I listen to your music, and I look at your album covers and stuff like that, I'm seeing a lot of blue. This nigga did not just say that. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice color, my boy. <laughs> just night color. Now, I assume there's a crip thing going on? Nah, just night color. Just a nice color. Yeah. No, no cripping going no, on. No, no, no nothing. Just no a nice nothing. color. Just the scene. Things okay. in the scene, man. Okay. <laughs> Look at this high ass um, nigga, dog. <laughs> you know, growing up in that type of environment, uh, a lot of people start to hustle early. Like, how old were you when you first started hustling? I wasn't hustling, man. I was, I went, I, I was a school guy, man. Going to school, handling my business, man. You know. <laughs> You 100% legal? Man, this fuck nigga better still ask yeah, me these yeah. questions, man. Doing everything by the book? Doing it by the book, man. Make sure it happens. Okay. You know? And, and that's the way to answer those types of questions. People get mad at me for asking, but then people answer how they gonna answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So when I get that type of answer, I respect that type of answer. Right. You know? And for all the future rappers out there, Y'all don't have to answer my questions. Y'all can answer it <laughs> like P.D. Right. Longway. And that, you know, I ain't affiliated with none of that shit. I don't do none of that shit. I'm just a rapper. Right. <laughs> I respect that. That's uh -huh. what's up. What made you want to get into rapping? Hmm, let me think about this correctly. Oh, yeah. I'm an urban guy, man. You know what I mean? I'm urban. I'm already urban, so urban is unreal. Uh, well, you know. Okay. How we came in. Now, are you the founder of MPA? Yes, sir. Okay. And MPA stands for? <laughs> this nigga really thinks he's going to catch me lacking. What it stand for? <laughs> MPA. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butt in here. I just, the store I bought was only 20 grand. And we just bought a crib for like 19000 so yeah, that's what we on right now. You know, I, I got with some um some Asian guys and some, some I'm from out in New York actually. They came to Philly and they was already doing it. You know, I, I live near the Temple, and um two blocks from the hospital is is is, is where I'm from. So I, I actually went to, left um school and went to, went to job court. For I went the rest of the two years that um I did plumbing, so I'm like a licensed plumber too. A lot of people, to be honest with you, man. Trying to uh, say it the right way. Yeah, I made a lot of money on the streets. I made a lot of money. And then I got a little cousin, a little brother who was already just shooting people. You understand what I'm saying? I could always start a plumbing company and yeah, it's a lot of shit, man. But I made uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars on the streets. The, one of the most popping drug corner in Philadelphia now is filled with dollars a week. And my little, one of my little cousins, who like and our rage that came up under me, man. He was selling drugs. I got in the game, just bought me a couple of pounds of weed and just gave it to me for free. This guy, the block was doing, the block I grew up with was doing like 10,000 a day. And I, and I just started selling the weed and I just got it rolling. I had two blocks, like it's just crazy in Philly. You know, I just graduated from that and went to the crack game. And, 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 and I bought some guy from another, an older guy from another neighborhood to my neighborhood. And he had the brain, he had the money, he had the system. So he ran it, and I was under him. But he was bringing all the stuff, and I was and I was helping him move it, and we just made a lot of money. It was, we had a rap group of like four or five artists, man. Two of them in jail for murder right now. You understand what I'm saying? Two different murders right now. And these happen to be the same guys I was with when me and Cassie got locked up for the murder. You know what I'm saying? Really, nigga? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. 